The study of ecosystems are important to further understand the planet we live in, as well as to carry out certain conservational projects. The term ecosystem was established by Roy Clapham in 1930 to classify the relationships that exist between the communities of living beings and the physical environment that surrounds them. In this The Daily Eco video, we're going to talk about the different types of ecosystems, their definitions, and the animals that form part of those systems. Let's dive right in. What is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is a place in nature formed by a certain space and the living beings that inhabit it. The determined space is the medium formed by abiotic components such as energy, heat, light, air, water, and minerals in soils. The living beings that inhabit an ecosystem includes microorganisms, fungi, vegetables, fish, birds, and other animals. We can classify ecosystem between natural and artificial, but only natural ecosystems have more subtypes. Therefore, in this video, we'll be talking about the four types of ecosystems, terrestrial, aquatic, mixed, and artificial. Terrestrial ecosystems. Terrestrial ecosystems are those in which living beings inhabit the soil or underground in. This ecosystem occupies 30% of the world's territory and is divided into the following types. Deserts, which occupy 30% of terrestrial ecosystems, savannas and tropical grasslands, which occupy 20% of terrestrial ecosystems, jungles occupying 23%, temperate forests and tundras occupying 17%, and finally, among the terrestrial ecosystems, there are also the cultivation areas that occupy the remaining 10%. Aquatic ecosystems. Aquatic ecosystems are characterized by the presence of water as the main physical component. This water can be sweet or salty. So we find two types of aquatic ecosystems. Marine ecosystems. These include all saltwater ecosystems such as oceans, seas, reefs, shallow coastal waters, etc and freshwater ecosystems, including lakes, ponds, rivers, streams, and springs. Mixed ecosystems. Mixed ecosystems are those that are located between two different types of terrains, for example, water and earth. The main types of mixed ecosystems are wetlands, mangroves, marshes, and coasts. Artificial ecosystems. Artificial ecosystems are unnatural ecosystems created or changed by humans. The main types of artificial ecosystems are urban ecosystems, agricultural ecosystems, or reservoir ecosystems. The living beings of an ecosystem. Each ecosystem has a great variety of living beings that form part of that system. Each of them have different functions in the balance of that ecosystem. This is why it's important we also mention the different types of organisms that live and form part of each ecosystem. They're classified into three categories. Producers. These living beings produce their own food from inorganic substances and sunlight. These organisms are the base of the food chain. Some examples are plants and algae. Consumers. They are heterotrophic organisms, that is, those that feed on other beings because they don't have the capacity to manufacture their own food. For example, cows, frogs, hyenas, or even us humans. Decomposers. These organisms feed on decomposing organic matter from other living beings, such as dry leaves, animal carcasses, dead tree trunks, etc. And that's it for today's video. If you found this video interesting and want to learn more, subscribe to our channel for more videos to come. We'll see you next time.